Thelma. You are a mess. What have you done with yourself? Look at your back. <laughs> Fabio wanted a hair color change. He decided that he wanted to be a redhead instead of a blonde. Yeah. How's your foot? Oh yeah, your foot looks good. Hey, it looks good. Yes, it does. See, it looks good. Hi, Dream Dream. You ready to go to the vet? Huh? Is Dream for, ready for a checkup? Are you ready to go get your eye checked? Did you just say no? I think she just said no. <laughs> so I've got the rope around Dream's neck. I was gonna show you real quick. Look at her face and how it is now compared to how it was last week. Since I was bringing her in to treat her eye, I went ahead and was putting the um, Ranch Life Naturals skin repair lotion on her face every day because I was bringing her in anyway and I had to do it twice a day. So I just went ahead and put that lotion on twice a day for a week and look at how much better her face is. So the hair is already starting to grow back in. So it's beautiful. But anyway, all right, so we are taking, whoa, she just knocked the phone out of my hand. Um, we are taking her in to the vet to get this eye rechecked. Um, I stopped putting the drops in. Um, I didn't put them in yesterday um, and I haven't done anything to her eye today. And that pupil is still pretty dilated. So I'm assuming that the medicine just really lasts a long time. Um, of course, I'll ask the vet about it today. But we are, there's her fly mask, I need to pick that up. Um, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and load her up and take her in. And hopefully the vet's going to say that all is well and there will be no need for further treatment. So that's what we're hoping for. So husband is on a phone call, but as soon as he is done with that phone call, we will load her up and head into town. All right, so she's in the trailer and she's not happy, but we are headed out and ready to roll. So, okay, we made it to the vet's office. And they're gonna go and get the dye so they can treat her eye. But she is already ready to get back in the trailer and go home. <laughs> so they came in and they put the dilation stuff and the dye in her eye. And I don't see a mark like there was the last time. So hopefully that means all is well and she won't have to do this again. Hundred. Cause she's not the happiest girl right okay, now. Okay, so the report is that her eye is healing, there's no infection, but there still is a spot on her eye that is, I'm trying to see if I can get it, where the dye is sticking to it. Um, I saw it really get in there when they turned the light on, but I um, had to turn it off. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it on camera. You can kind of see where the dye is sticking on her eye and that is what they're concerned about. So I'm um, to keep putting the drop in her eye once a day instead of twice a day. And um, the ointment that I've been putting in her eye, I still need to put it in her eye twice a day. And then we have to bring her back up here in a week to get rechecked to make sure that there's no dye um, getting stuck to their eye. They said they don't consider it healed until the dye doesn't stick in their eye anymore so the poor girl's got to come up here again next week but i will keep you guys updated ah, well actually we're going home so i'll talk to you for you guys in just this a second this is how we're greeted when we get home <laughs> home hours ago. Dream has already been back out in the field with her buddy old pals, Fabio and Catalina. And it's getting dark. 
I fed them, gave them their dewormers, medis, herbs, whatever you want to call it. Put the stuff in her eye like I'm supposed to. Now I'm going to treat her cheeks. And then I'm going to get Fabio. And <laughs> Beautiful boy. And I'm going to treat his foot and call it a day. Go in the house, watch some YouTube, wash the dishes, stuff like that. Um, but we did make it home. She um, was very hesitant about getting back in the trailer when we were leaving the vet's office. But she did a good job and she loaded up. And we will go back again in a week. And my goal is to have her in the trailer and actually standing between the dividers and hopefully being able to close it because I think it would be so much nicer, um, less stressful to travel with her in the trailer than when she's just loose and fancy free and she's got an itch somewhere she can't reach. Um, it, it, I think it would just, I would be less nervous while um, having her. <laughs> driving down the road in the back of the trailer uh, than the way she is right now, which is just loose. And she has a lot of room to move back and forth, which she does really well <laughs> when we're driving. And especially when we're stopped at a stoplight or waiting for traffic. So that's my goal for the week before she has to go back. But that is the update. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you again next time.